I'm here at the Ackerman Grand Ballroom where the Hip Hop Explosion concert is taking place with Brother Ali, Amanda Diva, and the Hieroglyphics. I'm gonna go front stage to experience this exclusive event. Hip Hop just has a really uh, powerful voice and I think that right now that voice is not being utilized to the strength of its abilities. Folks who are coming out the hood and the slums and you know just coming from nothing able to utilize it as a voice for themselves. Why do you think it's important for kids at UCLA to learn about hip-hop and to grasp the aspects of hip-hop? I mean, I think hip hop is a good thing, a good tool for anybody. I think the hip hop communicates something, a uh, message and an attitude and a part of American life that um, doesn't really get grasped the same way in any other medium. This is your chance to say something and you're wasting it. People are starving, you talking about bombing. Can't think of nothing more important than that jargon. My only message is to be yourself and express yourself and, ex and, and uh, let the world see life through your eyes. Do you think it's important that um, hip-hop music gets to a diverse audience? Um, well, I, th I think it's uh, impossible to say that, that it hasn't. I mean, hip-hop has pretty much taken over the, the whole world. It's in the, it influences every country. There's definitely much more of an intermingling going on and that's dope because you know I am you know a black woman and I do want to rhyme for black women in my audience just as much as I want to rhyme for every other racial ethnicity. Friday's screening of Hip Hop Beyond Beats and Rhymes exposed a darker side of hip hop. The film examines the issues plaguing hip hop today including the objectification of women and the media conglomerates who perpetuate images of drug use and violence in hip hop culture. You know when you heard Check the Rhyme, and you were like, oh, I with that. <laughs> that feeling, I want you to channel it, channel it, channel it. This is Salima Karoma reporting for Daily Bruin TV.